one Marvel book, two DC books, and a bunch of indies. Let's see what I'll be picking up for August 21st. Let's see what I'll be picking up for August 21st, 2019. All right, we're going to start off with our Marvel books, our DC books, and then we're going to finish off with the indie books. And if I missed out on any books that you guys are picking up or you guys might be interested in, make sure to head down, just scroll down below to the comments and smash it in so I can see what you guys are picking up because it's always great to see what the community is picking up. Start off with the Marvel book. Yes, I said book. I'm only picking up one Marvel book this week. It's going to be that Power of X issue number three. Now, I've been picking them up because of these uh, connecting variants. I'm not sure there's a connecting variant this week, but I'm not sure because i'm gonna be picking up the the trade at the end so i can just sit down and binge read i've been hearing great things if you're an x-man fan if you're picking up this book i mean that's the book that everyone's talking about let's be real this is like the flagship book that's coming out week to week at the moment i mean there was like this major hype for absolute carnage and once x-men dropped no one to give a damn about absolute carnage no more <laughs> All right, to start off with DC, we got Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, issue number two. Now, I, I didn't want to pick up issue number one, but I did a, a uh, not an AOK book club, a regular book club with uh, John's Comics for Kids and White Whale Comics, and I read it. I wasn't feeling the book, and then the ending kind of got me with this guy, and he he's in Gotham City, man. Jimmy Olsen has made it to Gotham City, and now I'm kind of like, I want to see what's happening, what's going to go on next, what more stories. Um... Yeah, it's a pretty good read. I'm going to be picking up that B cover. I like it with that. It looks like Jimmy Olsen's on a scooter and Superman's picking him up. Like, hey, I'm here to save you yet again. And then my next and final DC book is going to be that Teen Titans issue 33, where we thought we would be seeing the end of Lobo because we've seen him at the end of the book. He was with Lex Luthor, and now they're doing some crazy stuff together. And, hey, he's coming back. What What, what is Lobo going to be doing, man? I got to find out. Man, that Alex Gardner cover is amazing. I love it. And that A cover by Bernard Chang, I don't know why he drew Lobo like that. Lobo looks really weird, and I'm just not feeling it at all. Like, you have the most evilest, craziest villain ever, and he just, he just does not look right at all. I don't know my opinion what do you guys think are you guys liking this cover all right so now we finished the marvel book we finished the two dc books let's see what other indies are coming out this week because hey it's a pretty light week all right to start the indies off we got albatross funny books coming out with grumbles issue number nine i've been reading this i think i'm on issue number seven i got some reading to do i gotta catch up but so far i've been enjoying the whole run it's a, a light fun easy book to read and Hey, piqued my interest. Let me know down below. You guys reading Grumble? I don't really hear too many people talk about Grumble. All right, next indie book is coming out of Aftershock. It's called No Reception. And it's pretty cool. Like the cover work, it looks like a giant cake with a bunch of cell phones. And I guess it's supposed to be a celebrity wedding in the middle of nowhere. And there's no Wi-Fi. There's no cell towers. There's there's no Instagram or YouTube. I mean, it sounds like a horror book. So I, I'm, I'm a little scared to read it. But you know what? I'm going to have to give it a shot. Next up, we got a Source Point Press book coming out with that Dead End Kids issue number two. Now, I wasn't able to get issue number one but i did go online and I, I was able to grab one for under 20 bucks so i'm happy i'm still waiting for it to come in the mail man where is that damn book oh what's going on guys all right so i actually missed a couple books i missed category zero issue four which i read issues one through three and i thought it was pretty cool i, I kind of want to go out and, and keep reading it and i think the writer contacted me so maybe we'll do an interview with him maybe not we'll see it'll be pretty cool and then the next one is uh eric powell's the goon issue number four comes out next week also which is August 21st, I believe. It was supposed to come out, I think, at the end of the month, and issue five dropped, and this is issue four. So they kind of did like a, what are you playing, Eric Powell? What's going on, man? I got to find out. I'm looking forward to that Scotty Young variant, because that one looks pretty damn cool. Well, I appreciate you guys watching my video. Uh, smash like if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and let's keep going. Let's see what other books I'm going to be picking up. All right, moving right along. Uh, out of Image Comics, we got Middle West issue number 10. And this has been a great read. Everyone that I've heard that has read this book has enjoyed this book so much. I even like it so much. I went out and I got the trade so I could sit down and reread the book. So I don't have to flip through the issues. It is a pretty good book by uh, Scotty Young and then George Corona doing the artwork. And man, this cover looks freaking awesome. All right, now coming out of Dynamite, we got Vampirella issue number two. Now, I did not read issue number one. But man, this, this art germ cover, I, I've been looking forward to this one for a while so I'm, I'm gonna have to pick up this one and i'm gonna open it up i'm gonna try to dip my toes in some vampirella because i heard it sounded that bad a book i heard it's pretty good and then to end this on a pretty weak erotic note we got boom studios coming out with faithless issue number five and i'm liking this cover right here i think it's cover c it looks pretty cool and then we got the b erotica cover which you can't show those covers because you know they're, they're pretty erotic like like whoa you know i've opened some of these and i was like whoa but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what books you're picking up. Uh, smash like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to, you know, keep consuming this content. I do late night streams where I lurk. I go around and I find other YouTube channels. And yeah, check out one of these other videos. You know, they might be good. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy the content that I'm producing for you guys. Because, hey, I'm having fun doing it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.